we get back to channel you know guys it's absolutely fine so today it is the dc fandom and um, last night uh, around 12 hours ago now at midnight they dropped two major trailers which was flash as well as uh, the batman and these are the main two movies which i'm really really looking forward to so i sort of creating a kind of a reaction video because since a long time on the channel i've not been active uh, i was not well for one week so uh, i've been just scheduling all the digital art videos i hope you must be liking them now let's begin with the second most awaited trailer which i was been waiting for because um, supergirl when she was casted when melissa wasn't casted as a as a supergirl in the movie i really wish she would have been there in the movie but uh, in the flash uh, the supergirl and there have been a lot of, uh, of, of pictures of the movies while it was getting shot and uh, lot more uh, stories were getting revealed so i'm i'm even more excited to even watch the trailer of the flash now so let's start you can go anywhere you want but any time you want his room ah and that is absolutely not fair not giving out even the slightest hint but definitely it is going to, it i am predicting it would be reverse flash because going back in time and trying to change the things how he became flash um i'm not sure whether they would follow the arrowverse point of view but we can see see sasha as supergirl which i really wanted melissa to be but uh, quite definitely impressing and uh, even though uh, even robert pattinson is not as a part of the movie but we would have loved if they would have uh, combined this because technically um, the flash which is being from the snyder's point of view the snyderverse uh, and now uh, batman being an entirely different movie i really really, really would have wished either uh, ben affleck or uh, even probably robert pattinson played the role of batman but he is not the one who is playing batman but uh, overall i think that it would definitely be a really much more uh, amazing uh, thing if they are really following the storyline with respect to the arrowverse wherein uh, flash is being created by when he was struck by lightning and uh, because of the reverse flash because of eobarthon and all uh, the show with, with, with the story which show has followed but uh, bringing supergirl in picture because technically she is from a different earth she is from a different universe uh, multiverse has just now begun in uh, the marvel but it has always uh, existed uh, if you have seen all the cw shows all the arrow shows uh, multiverse was always a part and uh, traveling between in different earths it is going to be even more uh, amazing to watch how uh, this version of barry allen would be doing it so comparing both the uh, trailers uh, i really think that uh, batman has given us a little bit more insight but leaving the flash trailer so much not complete it is really not definitely not fair but uh, we are really 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 excited to see how uh, both the movies would be featuring so that is it for this video guys uh, do let me know what you think about both these trailers and even if you are a marvel fan but um, at the end of the day you still like some dc movies and uh, there's always this war between whether you can select marvel or whether you can select uh, dc whether you are a dc person or whether you are a marvel person but at the end of the day it is the content it, it is the way in which uh, the characters and the story lines are being explained uh, that decide uh, how these fandoms and how these stories progress so thank you so much for watching until here uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll be meeting you in the next video